Hello, and thank you for choosing my tutorials for your Blender 3D education. I'd like to start off with some self-promotion real quick. Please visit www.russimf.com. There you can find all of these tutorials and more. I have renders that I have done there and also weekly contests for the new best render featured on my main page. You can also find free textures you can use in modeling your own file under the Files tab. Please be sure to support the site by clicking on an ad while you're there. I'm doing this for free and I could really use the support. In and enjoy the tutorials. Alright, hello and welcome to video tutorial 12 on how to make movie FX. Alright, this is going to be a good one. Uh, I know a lot of people are looking forward to this and this is a lot big reason why a lot of people get into using Blender. Uh, so I will try and cover it in depth as possible. Uh, first thing you need to do is you need to go to www.russimf.com so you can get the video that we're going to be using. Uh, you need to, once you get to the site, scroll down here to Texture and Rendered Files. And here at the top of the page you'll see for Tutorial 12. Click here to download the video. Uh, you click there, it will take you to this website called foreshared.com. Uh, it's the only place I could find to put this video. Uh, and you will see the video pop up immediately. Uh, unknown person in an unknown location in the video. Uh, definitely not me. Definitely not me. Anyways, uh, you can pause that. It doesn't matter. Uh, click download now to download the video. Okay? And uh, now we will get started because I already have the video. Uh, open up Blender once you have that. And uh, go to the camera view. And we're going to delete that default cube. Actually, we're going to go to the top view and uh, set up our scene first. Uh, this is the biggest thing when doing movie FX, guys. Uh, you have to have the scene set up appropriately. If you don't, then it's going to look like crap, uh, plain and simple. And it makes it easier to uh, do things about like what we're about to do. So align your camera uh, so it's on the you know it's on the X Y Z. You can bring it down here to the green line. Makes it a little bit easier. And rotate it up. So it's even, make sure it looks even on here. All right, there we go. Mine's just about perfect as far as centering goes. All right, uh, the first thing we're gonna do once we get this centered here is we're gonna make our lightsaber, uh, but we're not gonna make the whole thing. Uh, and I'll explain why in a little bit here. Uh, so let's go ahead and go into the top view and uh, let's make our plane. get rid of one of the sides. Uh, if you haven't gone through the lightsaber tutorial, I highly encourage you to. Uh, it'll explain a lot about what we're getting ready to do here. Uh, you want to subdivide that multiple times in the edit mode. Uh, add new object, halo, and remember we need to make this white. Uh, reduce the halo size in shaders down to, uh, we'll say, say three is good. Yeah, three works. Okay. And uh, if we render that out real quick, if it's in there, yeah, that's fine. Let's see how that looks. Mm. Yeah, it, that'll do. I mean, uh, it's not really the point of what we're doing here, so I'm not too concerned of how it looks completely. Um, set that one to the side. I'll go ahead and make another one real quick. turn this one into orange. My favorite color. Alright, and uh, we're going to go ahead and make that halo and uh, bring that up to six. Turn the add on. There we go. And then we'll place that over that one right here. See how that looks. And all right. Let 
And that can be fixed easily by reducing the halo size if uh, yours looks too big like mine does. It doesn't look very good. Uh, that's not really the point at the moment. What we're trying to do is uh, just get these a basic setup for these. Uh, if you notice, uh, when I hit R and rotate, you see how it's not rotating on its axis? Uh, there's an easy fix for that. It's because the center is over here. Uh, just select the object, click the cursor into the center that is best to your knowledge of the object, and uh, go down here to the here. Um, it's one of these. Oh, you know what? It's in uh, the editing tab and it says uh, center cursor. There we go. And that's how that's done. And we'll do it the same for both center cursor. And now it will rotate on the axis. Okay. Uh, next thing I want you to do is go ahead and go into the camera mode here. Uh, we're going to scale these down a little bit because these are going to be way too big for our video. put those off to the side for now it's not really important um, go into view and background image use background image load and then load the video that uh, you downloaded now it's important to remember that uh, this background image when we click on the camera and do this uh, this is just a uh, something that go off of it's not gonna render if we were to render this right now it would not have the image in here at all uh, Turn the blend down all the way, that way it's, you know, fully in there. Uh, hit auto refresh and cyclic. And that should be it. Let me make sure that works. If you hit forward on the frames key, you can see that it is uh, indeed moving forward in frames. And there's our unknown subject moving into the frame now. But, uh, okay, so I just want to show you if I hit render, it does not render. Okay, so go back to one. Uh, now I want you to go into the, while well, having the camera selected, go into the textures tab, add new image, load, and then we'll load our video again. Okay, uh, make sure movie is selected, uh, auto refresh, cyclic. Now, if you're under the image, it's not there. Uh, oh, you have to go into the World tab, click Paper, and Map to Horizon. There we go. Now we'll show up. See how that works? Too easy. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this one. Uh, we're going to make this a two-parter. Uh, just go ahead and uh, save, hang on to this, and pick up in the second tutorial uh, where this left off. Um, once again, please go to www.russimf.com uh, to the site and get everything you need there. Uh, make sure to click on an ad. It helps it out. I highly appreciate it. Thank you.